Today, the debate over use of forces back in the spotlight. Survivors of police violence are rallying to speak out in support of a new bill that will regulate the use of force as we continue to see growing protests across the country and here in San Diego. News 8's Teresa Sardina live downtown with details on this proposed legislation here. Teresa? Well, recent protests throughout the state and here in San Diego continues to raise concerns over police violence. An assemblywoman, Lorena Gonzalez of San Diego, led a virtual conference this morning discussing law enforcement using excessive force. Now, Gonzalez is urging that Assembly Bill 66 would create the nation's first standards for how and when law enforcement agencies can deploy so-called less lethal weapons like rubber bullets and pepper spray. It would also ban the use of tear gas for crowd control. The state Senate is expected to vote on the AB 66 this week and survivors of those injured by police during protests join the discussion saying they believe these issues have gone too far during peaceful protesting. As far as police using rubber bullets and protesters being attacked by by police officers. A survivor speaks about her experience during a peaceful protest in Sacramento. I get emotional, sorry. Um, on May 29th, I was shot in the face with a rubber bullet. I am now permanently blind in my left eye. Um, not only am I blind, I have a brain injury, which causes me to forget things and mix up my words. Um, I now have to relearn and readjust to life. And again, Assembly Bill 66 is to regulate the use of force at protests. And if you'd like to learn more about the bill, we will have that information at CBS8.com. Reporting live at the San Diego Police Department headquarters, send it back to you.